As I was just finishing up the last message, Mark the Perfect Man, and the end of that message we were talking about the alien invasion, which is really demons, um, the UFOs and un unidentified flying objects that are coming, which is demon power. Um, as I begin to end that message, the Holy Spirit put this word on my spirit, gave me this word. In Luke chapter 21, verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. And I began to... Uh, look up this word fearful sights because that's what the Holy Spirit gave me I looked up the original Greek and the Greek word for this word fearful sights is phobetron phobetron which is where we get the word phobia from and it means a frightening thing. A frightening thing. Terrific. Portent. Fearful. Sight. Whatever it is that's coming from the skies is literally going to engulf the world in fear. The scripture says, because of the fear of death, all their lifetime they were subject to bondage. This is how Satan is going to control the whole world through fear. I'm going to bring the Hollywood movie screen right out in, on the world screen. The whole world's going to become the devil's movie screen. You want 3D? No, you don't want 3D. You want virtual reality, don't you? Man is not willing to just settle. So they keep on going further and deeper. We want 3D. No, we want virtual Until it's right on your doorstep. Until you become actually part of what's being played out. You like Hollywood? You like play acting? You like the Broadway that leads to destruction? Remember, Hollywood used to be Broadway. Broadway. Broadway leads to destruction. The whole world is be going to become a movie. Remember, it says they will worship the image of the beast. The word image is movie. Movie is image. The very image, the very movie that the devil, the very thing that the devil is doing is his image. It's the movie. You're in it. You're in the movie. You're in his image. It's going to leave the movie house. It's going to come right out and you're going to be living in it. The th we see a glimpse of that where this already has started. Watching a Batman movie, all of a sudden a shooter comes into the movie theater. Now you're actually in the movie. Hello. Hello. Right? Now, there were those that were wounded. But then there were those that died. And those that died, if they weren't saved, they went from a movie 
from an image of the beast to the lake of fire eventually, but to hell, lost forever. And that's not a movie, friend. That's reality. Many shall believe a lie and be damned. You want fake? You want play acting, which is hypocrisy? You don't want truth? I wonder what those people say now, the ones that were there in the movie theater that were shot at while they were watching the movie, living in sin. What happens when the play actors in the churches, when a gunman comes into the church and it's no longer just in the news? But now it's in your sanctuary where you're play acting. Because the devil's not playing. I just recently saw this thing where this program came out where in the program they um, hired this man to come and put on a movie um, in the Caribbean on an island for the woman that was getting married. It was her, um, the party, not the bachelor party, but the party that they have for the woman before the, uh, before the wedding. And all these girls went out on this island with no men, no protection. And this guy that was jealous over this woman that was going to get married... hired a man to kill. It wasn't a movie. It wasn't a play act. It was real. And all these girls are being killed. And the reason he was having all these girls killed is because they were the ones standing in the way of him getting with this girl, he thought. And at the end, when she said, even if you would have killed all these girl, all the girls and you would have won, I never would have accepted you as my husband. And so now he wanted to kill her. And then they ended up by killing him. But do you understand, folks, how that these girls going out on an island thinking it's just, we're going to have a wonderful time. And then they start seeing their girlfriends showing up dead. Amazing how that all circles around a wedding or a, a girl that's about to get married. You, you, you can't tell me the devil didn't, have, didn't inspire that one. Because the guy that was the one that... Uh, the guy that was the one that was heading up the program that was hired by this jealous guy, the name of his program was Hell. Something. And so when the woman found out about him, she said to him, why are you doing this? I thought this, we, we hired you to come and do this and it was supposed to be just to scare. It wasn't supposed to, you weren't supposed to kill anybody. And the guy got angry and he looked at it and he said, look at the name, lady. In other words, you should have known. But it wasn't the women that hired the man. It was the jealous man that hired the man. You follow what I'm saying? The man that hired the man to come and kill those girls, he knew what he was doing. He wanted to kill the girls. Why am I sharing this with you?
because that's exactly what's happening on the earth right now. You think it's not reality when our men and women go over in foreign countries and fight for a cause that's not real. Those people really died. They're not coming back. The people that died in 9-11, they're not coming back. Jesus said he was a murderer from the beginning. And he said what he does, he says his children will do. He was a murderer, they murder. And it's not a movie. It's not play acting. They are doing it for real. But you think that it's not real until death comes. Then it begins to sink in. And then it's too late. It's too late by that time. And then the Catholic Church comes along with their extra strong delusion and says, even though they're dead, if you'll give us all your money, we'll free them from purgatory. Don't believe it. The scripture says when they die, then the judgment. You're going to either spend eternity in hell or you're going to spend eternity with Jesus. Simple. It's that simple. Better quit your play acting. Amen. Quit play acting. Time to be real. Time to be genuine. Time to be born again. Time to be real. Time to be saved. Because fearful sights are coming. Fearful times are coming. Men's hearts failing them by seeing what's coming, observing and watching what's coming on the earth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy. Praise your holy name, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Praise you, Jesus.
Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. The only scripture that came to me from that was as an interpretation to that was behold I come quickly and my reward is with me. Hallelujah. That's all I got. Behold I come quickly and my reward is with me. <laughs>